Hi everybody, this is Jonathan Scott of the Big Cat People talking to you on a glorious day here in Nairobi in Kenya and Angie behind the camera and welcome to our YouTube video series and this is going to be one of our behind the scenes of one of our fine art gallery pictures. It's a particular favorite of ours because whereas Angie absolutely loves lions, loves immersing herself in the pride, the creature that brought me to Africa was the leopard, the most solitary, enigmatic, and beautiful, I believe, of all of the big cats. And today's image is a picture of a very special leopard to both Angie and myself. We call her Bahati, and Bahati means good luck. And this particular leopard, we have had the most wonderful luck in following her journey, in following her story. And there's just something about a leopard. Now, in the old days, when I first came to Africa and I wanted to see a leopard, people used to say, look up in the trees. Look for that telltale tail hanging from the trees. Because, of course, one of the things that leopards love to do, certainly in places like the Mara, where there's lots of lions and hyenas, is to go up into the trees. And on one particular day, and in fact, we were filming a series that we would love you to look at on Netflix, Tales by Light. And we were told, Bahati has got a kill up in a tree. And it was the most beautiful tree. And it was just one of those days. And she was just in heaven. She had a 500 millimeter Canon lens. And she was able to track the moment that Bahati began to come down and you couldn't have asked for a more perfect tree because there was so much open space. You could see her, her silhouette, her shape as she began to move, as leopards do, just like liquid gold pouring herself down the tree. Those beautiful spots, that gorgeous tail just flexing up behind her. And she started to come down the tree. And we were being filmed. Angie was photographing. I was talking to the camera about this magical moment. And the reason that she came down the tree, she had a kill up in the tree, was to come down because she wanted to go and collect her two cubs, both of which survived. And so we had the most incredible opportunity to capture a leopard in action. Because so often, even if you find your leopard, sitting or lying up in a tree, even if you can see her or him when they're up there, even if you can get a glimpse of them, so often they don't budge, they don't move, because they go up in the trees for safety, storing their food, having a rest, getting away from the flies, and daytime to them is their sleep time. What cats are like, they love to take, to take a cat nap. But the reason that Bahati is such a special cat to us is because she's part of a dynasty, of a legacy. And with us knowing individuals, because we follow them, and Bahati, like all lepers, is territorial. So we know the area to look for these individual cats. And her mother was a leopard we called Olive, whose mother was Bella of Big Cat Diary Frame fame. And so we've got this wonderful legacy, this story that we can tap into. And the thing about Bahati, she's such a confiding leopard. She's such a sort of gentle character. And she's always very tolerant. If you find her, and even when you do find her, as I say, she may not be doing very much, but when a leopard has cubs, like on that particular day, when she's going to come down, because she wants to bring the cubs to where the food is. And she did. Later, she went back up that tree with one of the cubs. But on this particular moment, on this particular day, Angie just managed to get this gorgeous view. And what we love about it is, it, it's sort of almost like a sculpture. The shape of the tree, of the limb of the tree, and then the leopard just walking into frame and coming down made it much more than a portrait. And so to us, that leopard in that tree, Bahati, good luck, 
it was exactly that. And that is the image that we would love you to find a place on your wall for, to savor the moment that Bahati just made our day, our dream come true.